everybody. Um, today is gonna be a different kind of video. I have lost someone recently and I wanna apologize now if I start crying. I wanna make this video to just tell you about the kind of person that she was. We all called her Nani. She was amazing. If you've seen in my other videos that I said that I was going to the hospital and stuff, that's who I was going to see. It started off with her falling and it just ended up being her time. She's lived a great long life, but that doesn't mean that it's not hard. I think no matter what age you are, loss is always going to be hard. It's kind of one of those things. Um, I'm going to put some clips in for you guys to see. One of my memories that I have is when I was growing up, my dad would drop me off at Nani's house at like 5 in the morning so he can go to work. And Nani and I would hang out all day. She would let me eat popsicles in the morning and tell me not to tell my dad about it. I would go in the front of her yard and pick her flowers. I called them SpongeBob flowers. Did you pick those out of my yard, she'd say, and laugh. She had a thing for sweets. She always used to have this crystal candy dish and those strawberry candies. I'm not really sure what they're called. I remember how good her banana pudding was and how she made it at every family event and everybody was always looking forward to it. She loved, I mean loved, puff corn. I believe that she was the star of the show and she never really knew. It's, no, it said on the top something goddess of love. I think it's one of the Venus or something. Let me see it. Turn it around. It's, it's not, not on saying that, nothing. But <laughs> Take the picture and give it to Giga. Thank you. Tell her. Tell her. No, Mom, she's got no. Nani, it's not supposed to be you. It's supposed to be me. Did you record that? It's supposed to be, or Hannah Banana. It's not me. No, me and Lani even have the color hair. She was the most kindest woman and she spoke her heart. She had a certain spunk about her and she would love to sing. Whatever will be, will be the past my mother, what will I be? Will I be pretty? Will I be rich? Here's what she said to me. Go climb up a tree and get lost. Don't ever. <laughs> She's making up her own words now. She's telling us to climb up a freaking tree. She soon started losing her vision. That never stopped her though. I always thought it was so amazing how she always knew who I was by my voice. Oh my god. This picture that you did. Your art picture of the lady of her face. At that art class? Oh, that was where I made that picture? Yeah. Yeah, I never put it up because I, I didn't do it. And I had help doing that picture. But she asked who it was. It was supposed to be a picture of me. <laughs> doesn't that look like Nani? It definitely no, it doesn't. doesn't look like do you? Me. We were saying it looks more like you. Or I don't <laughs> think it was supposed to. The last time I saw her was pretty hard, but I knew that she was going to be okay. She kept saying that it was her goal to stay till Christmas, and she fought her hardest, and she made it past Christmas. I know that was hard. She was the type of person who didn't stay for herself, but for everyone else, so we wouldn't be sad. That, right there, tells you the type of woman she was. She's no longer in pain and lived a long life. 
I know she was missing grandpa, and now she can be with him. I'm still sad because she's gone, but now she can be at peace. Day, your prince will come. Sunday, you'll find your love, and the wedding bells will ring. They all think we're nuts. <laughs>